Namaste everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a national holiday of South Korea. Do you want to take a guess which holiday am I going to talk about? Here are the hints. It is celebrated in the month of October and it is important for the whole Korean Peninsula. Yes, you guessed it right. It is the National Foundation Day of Korea. Every year on the 3rd October, Korean people celebrate the establishment of the first Korean kingdom, Kojoseon. This national holiday is called Kejeonjo in Korean, which means the day on which the heavens open. According to the popular legend, Kojoseon was founded in 2333 BC by the legendary Dhangul before the formation of ancient kingdoms of Koguryo, Hekche, and Shilla. Now let's talk about Tangun. The legend of Tangun starts with Hwanin, the ruler of the heavens, and his son Hwanung. One day, Hwanung expressed his strong desire to rule the earth, as he kept looking at it from the heavens. Eventually, he asked for his father's permission to descend upon the earth and rule over it, to which his father Hwanin agreed and granted him permission to do so. Upon hearing this, Hwanung brought 3,000 of his followers and the god of rain, Usa, god of wind, Hungbek, and god of clouds, Unsa, with him to the earth. They descended to Shindansu, the holy tree of life, on the mountain Thibek, which is called Pektu Mountain today. Here they established the holy city of Jinzi and proceeded to rule over the earth while educating and guiding its people. A while after these events, a bear and a tiger prayed to Hwanung and told him that they wished to become humans. Hwanung, upon hearing their wishes, asked the bear and the tiger to avoid sunlight for 100 days and only eat garlic and mugwort. The bear and the tiger quickly agreed and retreated to the nearby cave. In the beginning, the tiger and the bear did quite well. However, after 21 days, the tiger could not endure the situation any longer and left the cave. The bear, on the other hand, was determined to become a human. It stayed and fulfilled Hwanung's request. Hwanung, of course, kept his promise and turned the bear into a human. The bear transformed into a beautiful woman and took the name. Soon, Ungna started feeling lonely and sad over the fact that she did not have anyone to marry and she continuously prayed to Hwanung for a son. Due to her efforts, Hwanung was moved by the prayers of Ungnyo and transformed himself into a human and married Ungnyo. They soon gave birth to a son and named him Thangun. Their son Thangun is regarded as the first human prince of the land who grew up to establish his own kingdom. This kingdom is called Choson, but generally it is called Kotoson or ancient Choson to disambiguate it from the Joseon dynasty of the 14th century. Today, Kejeonjo is celebrated in Korea to celebrate the legendary formation of the first Korean state of Kojoseon in 2333 BC. This date has traditionally been regarded as the date for the founding of the Korean people. The National Foundation Day is a red day in South Korea. A red day means that salaried employees have a paid day off for the national holiday. On this day, people wear traditional Korean clothes, some go for hiking, while others watch fireworks and spend time with their families. In Seoul, it is celebrated with a huge display of fireworks. It always takes place in Yoido Hangang Park, and crowds of people will gather there to watch the fireworks on that day. And every and every year, a ceremony to honor Tangun is held at the Chamsongdan altar at the summit of Mount Manisan. This altar is said to have been built by Tangun and is a legendary place of worship and sacrifice favored by ancient kings in the past. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video informative and interesting. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.